Welcome back, we're still on technical SEO. Back in section 1.1, we mentioned the importance of having a Google Search Console account where you can actively submit URLs with new content so that they are indexed and show up in Google searches faster. But there is a lot more than that that you can do with a Search Console account. And in this section, we're going to show you exactly what that is. Let's start by creating an account and verifying it. Go to search.google.com dash search minus console. If you already have a Google account, you can log in directly. Otherwise, the first step is to create an account and then log in. You will be asked whether you want to track a domain or a URL prefix. Tracking a domain would be good, but you may not be able to verify the account as the procedure requires access to DNS. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. We will just go with the second option, which is to introduce the URL prefix here on the right side of the screen. Type in the address of your homepage. I will just paste it. Remember to choose the main version of the site you want to track. This means including HTTPS and www in the URL if that is where your site is primarily displayed. As a best practice, you should redirect all other versions of your URL to the preferred one. The Search Console sees these versions as different websites altogether, even if they have the same content. And if you don't follow best practices, you might get inaccurate data. After you paste the correct URL, click on Continue. The next step is to verify ownership of the website. There are five main ways to do this. I will show you just one, which is most likely the easiest to perform, regardless of your website platform, and that is the HTML tag. If you choose to use this verification method, then you need to copy the meta tag given by Google and add it to the head section of your website. Now let's see where you can find that head section if you're using some of the most common builders like Wix and WordPress. For Wix, you need the website to be associated with your own domain. This entire process will not work, unfortunately, if your URL ends in wixsite.com, if you have a free version of the Wix uh, platform. Leave the Google Search Console open and in a new tab, go to settings in your site's dashboard. Click the SEO tab, go to advanced SEO settings, and click the link where it says, click here to do this in the editor. This will open up your SEO settings inside your editor. Now paste the meta tag that you copied from uh, Google Search Console under add header code meta tags. You'll see there's a place for it right there. Alternatively, instead of copy pasting the tag yourself, you can use the Wix SEO Wiz tool, which will get things done automatically for you. After you're done, you can close this window right here and click on Publish. And now you can go back to the Search Console. In this box, click on Verify, and if everything is correct, you will see a message with a green check mark reading Verified. For WordPress, I will need to add another property to my account. I'll just go back to the Search Console and add here. I'll just Enter the website again. All right. And I'll go to the website dashboard to verify it. I need to go to appearance, then editor or theme editor. And in a column that shows up on the right, look for the header PHP file. Once I find it, I can click on it. And I can look for the head section on this page. Make sure to paste the code right before the end of the head section. Click on update file. Then go back to the search console again and click verify again. And you can see the green check mark again. Things are verified and everything is in order. This is similar to what has to be done for an HTML website. If you use another type of web builder platform and have trouble finding the head section where to paste, ask for support from the platform or do a quick Google search which would probably find a walkthrough just for you.